Welcome to our tutorial on the message box function. We use message boxes to communicate with the user and capture a response. Here's an example of the code for the message box function. The first line here defines the variables. Next here I assign value to the variables. We're going to go into this in more detail in just a few seconds. Now I've got the message box function, which will pass the response value to the response variable. Next, we've got the if-else routine. We're going to be looking at this type of routine in greater detail in another tutorial. For now, if the return value is yes, the label control, label 1, will display the word yes. Let's run our program. When I click Compute, I get my message box. Do you want to continue? I can choose Yes or No. If I choose Yes, Yes is captured by my label. When I choose No, No is captured by my label control. Back to our code, let's see how it all works. First is a string. Do you want to continue? This is stored in the message variable and is passed along to the first argument prompt and displayed as a message in the dialog box. Next, second, we've got the style argument, which stores three literals, VB yes, no, VB critical, and VB default button two. For more information on these literals, let's check out the message box function help file. Here we've got VB yes, no. It's got a numeric value of four. This literal displays yes and no buttons. Next is VB critical. This displays the critical message icon, the X in the red circle. Its numeric value is 60. Last is the VB default button 2. This means that the second button, in our case that's the no button, has the current focus or is the active button when this dialog window is active. Next we've got the title argument. Here's the information to display in the title bar. After this, we've got the help file and the help file contents. The return value of the message box function will be stored in the response variable. Here we see the return value examples. I'm going to run our application again. See how the second button, No, is active? The title bar shows the text we entered in our code, message box demonstration. Here's the critical icon and our two buttons, yes and no. Clicking enter gives me the no result since the focus was on the second button. Okay, let's comment out these two literals and see how the message box looks when we update it. The focus is now on the first button, the default position. And we also are missing the critical message icon as well. Let's click enter. Our return value is yes. I'd like to add one more literal here. The syntax for that, add a space, a plus sign, and a space. Now right click and select list properties methods. Once I start typing, Visual Basic helps me select the correct literal. Here's the one I want, VB Message Box Help button. Tab to select it. And let's run the program again. Now we've got a third button. This button is called Help. If I click it, I get a message stating that Windows can't find the help file. Let's not look for it right now. We'll click OK to get out of this and back to our code. Next, let's see how we can enter this function using the VB Coder window help. As soon as I enter the function, the editor immediately displays pop-up help. This shows me the function format. The first argument is a string. Comma. Visual Basic knows the second argument should be a named literal. It gives me a drop-down list of named literals. Now we can scroll through this list 
or we can simply type and the editor will help us select the appropriate named literal. As you see, I didn't enter the named literal OK Cancel with the appropriate casing. The drop down menu listing gives me the OK Cancel. I select it, press Tab, and my casing is now corrected. Comma. Actually, let's insert another literal. Space plus sign space. Let's insert the information message icon. That's VB information. Tab and comma. Now let's enter the title. We'll close the function at this point and run the application. I forgot to comment out the original message box function. Now Visual Basic runs the second message box function. Let's return to our code and we'll comment out this line. Now let's run the application again. We've got the word title in the title bar, the message hello, and the information message icon displayed, as well as the OK and Cancel buttons with the focus on the OK button. If I press Enter, we've got no display in the label control, however. Let's go back to our code and fix this. The return value here should be VB OK. Let's replace Yes with OK also. We'll run our program again. Now the correct message appears in our label control. And this concludes our tutorial on the message box function.